here we can observe how high is this action, the action of this guitar. It goes from less to much more. The headstock has no angle, there is almost a straight in a commercial guitar. And look at this. How high is this action here? Then of course to the bridge we can see that uh, this point, this is too much of a space there from the top to the string in the right hand. So this also presents a problem and of course besides the fact that this action is just not easy to play. Now if we observe that detail also same thing in the 2000 Bodgen guitar which also has same thing about the string and this has been lowered just uh, uh, try to be adjusted let's say but it has the same very same thing with the headstock also straight and on the bridge we also have here some trouble about the space because look how small room is there almost no angle of the string and still is high still is very very high from the top now this is how it looks a modern bridge uh, setting in AG which has look a lot of 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 saddle height this and still, it doesn't matter, it makes a perfect line straight, which gives a very low fast action on this point. Right? And the line goes this way. Of course, this is also about the head stock of both instruments being totally different. This one has at the right side a lot of angles, and on the left side, you can see that this is almost a straight, straight angle and deep angle. Then now, about the action, this observe the line of the setting of this. So on a low budget guitar, a couple of hundred bucks, you get this kind of tone. <laughs> you no know, quality, plastic sound. And in a commercial 2000 guitar, same thing happens. Actually, maybe it's better than the other one. But look at this. This is completely flat or this one is horrible. It's stone, right? And so maybe so called better world or anything. That's just really irrelevant because you need a tone, a clear tone which has no plastic and can sink the beauty of the, of the notes mostly this here, for instance, B flat this is very critical point for an instrument to be evaluated Right? So total plastic, miniaturas is all over. Therefore, no wonder. Better opt for the 100 box guitar up to 200 because it's actually there's no difference. What's the difference between this and this? So this is more Saxon. <laughs> so that's how we can understand some very few five or six points which are really really important that you get a nice instrument to develop your tone because but you play you play you get used to measurements and get used to the thing so it doesn't matter if someone is beginner then this is very big misunderstanding 
that only when I will be advanced in music or play great, then I can have a nice guitar. That is not true. Unless you have a, a nice tone which you develop through the instrument, we, don't, we are not singers, we play with an instrument, so they, hello, the instrument is, is, the, is the crystal clear window from which you will express yourself. So it does matter, obviously. Here, as you can see, the sixth string to the edge, and from the first string to the edge, there is very little room, so in fact, this is one of the big inconveniences for the left hand performance. This is here how it should be done, with much more room from the sixth to the edge and from the first string to the edge as well. This is one detail that affects performance on the left hand. Here we have it. This is how it looks a common guitar which can be any brand. Now, other aspect, which I already mentioned sometimes in other videos, is the bridge. This is how does it look, a bridge of a couple of thousand bucks guitar, commercial guitar, or any brand in the market. That's irrelevant the brand, but the thing is that here you can see distances from the first to the second string. There is more distance than from the second to the third, and then less from the third to the fourth, less even from the fourth to the fifth, and then from the fifth to the sixth, more like that. So then here we have a bridge of a $200 guitar. And this here, as you can see, has very similar issues. So really speaking, between this 200 box guitar and this 2000 box guitar, there is no much difference when it comes to measurements and accuracy. This is how a bridge should look like when measurements are even from one string to another. Another inconvenience of the common bridge in commercial guitars, either $2,000 or $200, is that this is too narrow. It has 57 millimeters from the sixth string to the first string. So narrow contracted space. You can measure this from the first string to the sixth, 57 millimeters. Right? And then the same thing will happen on the 2000 euro guitar. Because this here looks a bit fancy or anything, but still have an accuracy on the drilling and 57 millimeters as well. Same like the other, you see? That's why, that's why actually it's a better idea to buy the 200 one <laughs> until you can save for a good one. So this is too much contracted the space, 57 millimeters. You can also draw a line with a, with a simple uh, business card, put it on the first string this, and then this on the sixth string and draw a line like this here. It gives you the, the distance from the sixth string to the first string. Right? And then we do the same thing. This one, and we have again from the first string to the sixth string this red line. This is 57. Then, on a any normal bridge, happens that, but in the AG bridge, here we have 62 millimeters. So a lot of room, not only even distances, but a lot of room to perform from here to here. So this is how much of a gap is there. Look, this is 62 millimeters. So when we compare this from the first string to the sixth string, this is what, how much it falls short, this thing. So even one millimeter is a lot, it's too much. So what to speak of, of five millimeters or two, two millimeters is also too much, but five is just crazy. And here you can measure this uh, student from the police gave me this one, it's not very accurate because it's a paper one, but with any ruler you can do and find out the distance. Distance from the first string to the sixth string 
again 62 millimeters here right so this is very very important thing because all what you will perform in flamenco guitar we need to have room here for rasgueo for asapua for different techniques and also room on the this edge here from the sixth string out and from the first string out so in classical guitar is the opposite here is, is wide and here is narrow as we saw in these other guitars right. like this here we can see that it has uh, very much contract to the space look how much edge we have here from the sixth string from here so this means that it's very possible this will go out of place 